guys, today I am doing a video all about my hair. I've gotten uh, some questions the past few months about my hair and to do a hair video. Um, I had a hair video up a few months now. It's probably like over a year ago. It's pretty old. Um, and I'm not even, I don't even think it's up anymore. I think I private it. But um, yeah, it was basically like frequently asked questions I get on my hair and I'm gonna be doing that again today because I have gotten some requests to talk about like my hair and the color uh, the cut and like the products I use. So I thought I would do that today. I've been meaning to do this for a while and it just keeps getting put like at the bottom of my list. I'm gonna I'm gonna first talk about my hair color and cut and then I will move on to like my products that I like, my favorite products. I'm obviously not gonna talk about like all my hair products. I'm just gonna talk about like the few that I love, like absolutely love and that I definitely recommend and then I'll talk about a little bit about the hair products that I use. Um, or not the hair products, the styling tools that I use and how I like style my hair. To begin with, my hair color and cut. Um, so my hair color naturally is pretty orange, like orangey red. And I tell people that and like no one ever believes me, but it's definitely like a goldish kind of color. If you guys see my roots, you can kind of see it a little bit. It definitely has pretty red undertones to it. And um, like I always used to dye my hair. If you guys look back at my old videos, my hair used to be pretty dark. Um, and that was just because I hated the red color to it and I would just constantly put like dark hair dye over it every few months and so my hair got pretty dark. And so yeah, I started to not really like that look. I just felt like it was looking a little bit too much of a contrast between my skin color because I do have pretty fair skin. So I started to do highlights in it and I used to go to a salon and get them done and I, I probably will do that again eventually. I just kind of space it out. I don't do highlights like every six to eight weeks like you should. I do them... I don't know, I'd say maybe like maybe two or three times a year. I don't really do them that much because they're really expensive for one, they're really damaging for two, and I just feel like I can do the same results myself. So uh, what, like, what I've been doing recently is I have been putting just like a dark, not a dark, but like a medium brown hair dye on my hair. And I usually do medium ash brown to kind of counteract the red a little bit. And um, so I'll usually use a permanent medium ash brown color and then I will just do highlights myself or I'll go somewhere. The last time I did highlights, I did it myself. Um, I got a kit from Sally's. It's, I don't even know what the name of it's called. It's a yellow kit though. It's like all yellow stuff and um, it comes with like everything in it. It comes with a cap, the, the bleach, like everything you need is inside of it. I use the cap and I do not recommend the cap because I got a knot in my hair from one of the little holes. So I definitely do not recommend the cap, you guys. The next time I did it though, I, I got foils and my mom like foiled my hair. And if you can do that, that just is so much easier. It just looks so much better. You definitely, I think, need someone to help you with that unless you're really, really good. Um, my mom helped me with that, obviously. So if you have a friend or a spouse or someone that can help you with that, I definitely recommend that. And just YouTube, like how to foil highlights. And there's a million videos on it, and that's what I did. And it's, it's pretty easy, and uh, I think I got really good results with that. So that is what I did last time. And that's the, the color that I have in my hair right now. Those are the highlights that I have. And uh, they obviously aren't like super blonde, but it just kind of gives like a little bit more dimension to my hair. And they definitely kind of come more of like a goldish color on me, but it's going to come out different on everybody depending on your hair color. So that is what I've been doing the last couple months and I've really been liking it. I don't really like the way just one color looks anymore. I, I definitely prefer highlights I've noticed. So that is what I've been doing recently. And if you guys are interested in like my older videos, I was just basically doing like medium ash brown hair color like all over. That's all I really did. Uh, the highlights is what I've been doing recently and I think it looks good. I, I kind of want to do a little bit more and go a little bit lighter for summer so we'll see. Um, I haven't been like pretty blonde in a while. Not like super blonde but uh, like blonder in a long time so I might do that this summer. We'll see. Okay so that's basically about my hair color. My cut um, is my hair goes down to about right here and I have been growing out for a while. If you guys have been watching me, you know that. My hair takes forever to grow, and I'm not exaggerating, you guys. Like, my hair takes a very long time to grow, and I barely get it cut. I hate getting my hair cut because it takes so long to grow. So, uh, every time I go in, I just let them know that I just want a trim. Like, I want the least possible amount that you can take off because, you know, I don't want to have to spend, like, the next few months growing out what I trimmed off. So I just make sure to tell them that I don't want a lot taken off and that I like the long layers. So my first layer starts on this side because obviously my part is on this side so the layers are going to be longer on this side. Uh, it starts like right there I would say and I might when I get my hair cut I might even bring that up a little bit. 
And then over here it starts like right there. Yeah. It definitely have grown out, has grown out a little bit because when I got it cut, I think she took it like to the to the bottom of my ear. Uh, but yeah, so basically just long layers is what I ask for and just, um, you know, a trim. And my bangs are also, uh, like not very long. I like to have like this little area right here a little bit shorter, but I don't like them to be any shorter than the top, like the bottom of my ear because I find that it just doesn't look very good and doesn't curl very well. So that's what I ask for when I get it cut. And I think that's about it for color and cut. If you guys have any more questions about those uh, topics, uh, leave them down below and I will answer you in a comment. But I think I covered everything. So jumping into hair products that I love, uh, I will start with oils. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I love hair oils, uh, mainly because I have pretty frizzy hair. And I just find that they just make your hair a lot sleeker and smoother and just look overall healthier. I don't straighten my hair a lot because I find that it looks kind of dry. And also, I think that has to do with I wash my hair every day, which I know is really, really bad. And I try not to as much as I can, but I just have a really hard time not washing my hair every day. I just, I always want to take a shower every night and I just, it just feels so much more relaxing if I get my hair wet. So that's kind of the problem I think that I have with straightening my hair. It just, it always looks a little bit dried out. Um, which is why I don't straighten my hair a lot. But uh, when I do, I definitely need like an oil to go on after it. And these are these are two of my favorites. Uh, the first one, they're both by New Me Hair Products. This one is the Pure Remedy Intense Oil. This uh, feels like Moroccan oil. I've tried Moroccan oil before and this feels very, very similar to that. Um, it just makes your hair really smooth and shiny and very sleek. And this is the Argan Oil by Numi as well and this also just makes my hair feel really sleek and straight and I find that these don't weigh my hair down they just I don't know they you can put I can put a lot of this in my hair and I don't feel like it weighs my hair down at all and I usually put it from like I'd say here down um, and then if you're looking for a cheaper alternative like in the drugstore this is the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Moroccan Sleek Oil Treatment and this is also really really good it's a little bit lighter it's not as thick as those um, but it definitely helps a lot and just does the same thing really just kind of makes your hair sleek and shiny So so I do put those on my hair when my hair is wet I'd say I put like a quarter size amount in my hair and then when my hair is dry after I curl it I will sometimes take a little bit less like a dime size amount and I'll just kind of go over my ends a little bit And you obviously don't want to put that in your roots or anything because you're gonna weigh that down and you're gonna make it kind of look oily um, and you definitely don't want to use a lot and your ends because it will look a little bit weighed down and uh, not as, I guess, volumized as you might want. For hair masks, this is the Numi Repair Pure Remedy Hair Mask. This stuff is so amazing, you guys. It's like the thickest hair mask I've ever tried. If you can see that, it's the thickest for sure that I've ever tried. Um, and it's just so good. I just definitely recommend this. I definitely recommend all of Numi's hair products and I'm not being paid to say that. Um, they're just really, really good hair products and I like them a lot. Oh, and a drugstore mask that's also really good is the uh, Neutrogena uh, Deep Repair Mask. It comes in a little tub. It's like five or six dollars and that's a really good alternative to that I really like. So this is their shampoo and conditioner I was going to mention. I like their whole line. Uh, Neutrogena, sorry my kitten's trying to get in my, my room. Um, I like all of Neutrogena's hair products, uh, their shampoos, conditioners, and their deep repair masks, and they're really affordable, like 5 or $6. Uh, and then also, I love the Redken Smooth Young Shampoo. This stuff is so good, you guys. And I think they, like, redid the packaging on this or something, because they got this one on sale. But this really helps my flyaways. I've had this bottle forever. You don't need a lot every time you wash your hair. Um, it's just really good and helps with the flyaways at my roots. I notice a lot. For heat protectant, I just use the Tresemme Thermal... Creations heat tamer spray. Honestly, I know everybody on YouTube loves the stuff. I am not as big of a fan because I feel like it gets my hair really wet before I go to like style it. And I hate that. I hate having to like put this on and wait for my hair to dry. I like the um the protectant sprays that come in like a thermal or not a thermal, a aerosol can so much better because I know it's really bad for the environment. But I just feel like it's better because it just doesn't make my hair so wet and I don't have to wait forever. So I do like this. I just kind of wish they could like repackage it. That would be really nice. Um but yeah and I, I don't know. I think Flat Iron Experts makes a really good uh, aerosol can. I had one and I ran out and it, I love that stuff. Like it was so good. It made my hair really shiny and it was nice because I didn't have to wait forever to style my hair which was awesome. Okay, uh, jumping into styling tools. Um, I use basically three 
uh, pretty consistently, or two I use a little bit more than the third one, but these are the three products that I use most of the time. Um, this first one is the 4-in-1 Cortex Curling Wand. This comes with uh, four different uh, size wands. This is the one I use the most often. I don't even know, I don't think it says anywhere on like what size this is. I wish it like wrote it on the barrel. But um, I believe this is the second to largest one. And this is the one I use the most, but I do rotate them a lot depending on like what look I'm going for. But I love this. This gives you like really pretty loose uh, like spiral kind of curl waves and it's just really pretty. And this does, uh, this like lately has been taking me a little bit longer because my hair is getting longer. So lately I haven't been reaching for this as much, but I, this was what I was using for like I'd say six to eight months. Like this was all I was using and I just love the way it looks and makes your hair look. Um, but lately I've been trying to get ready a little bit quicker uh, because that does take so long and I've just been curling my hair a lot lately and there's like hair all over it. <laughs> um, and this is just the Conair Curling Iron and I don't know what size this is either. Let me see if I can find it. I think this is like a third, fourth inch or an inch or something or an inch and a half. Oh my god, I don't know. I will Google it, you guys, and put it in the annotation somewhere because I feel really dumb. I'm not sure what size it is. But, um... This is what I've been using lately, and that's how I curled my hair today. And I just like it because it's more like relaxed feeling. It doesn't look like I spend a whole lot of time on my hair, but it does still make my hair look together because uh, my hair definitely does not look great right right when I wake up. So this I just take at the top of my hair. I curl away from my hair and just curl like all the way down is how I do it. So I really like this and have been using that a lot. And I just got mine at Target. You can get it anywhere. Oh, and the curling iron wand, if I didn't mention, is from flatironexperts.com uh, a while ago, but they should still have it, I would think. So, and it's a really good investment, you guys. Like I, I totally love mine to death. Um, and then the other hair product I use is the Numi um, flat iron. Okay, sorry about that. My camera totally died, not died, it ran out of memory. Um, and I had to upload some footage. But anyways, I was talking about the flat iron that I uh, love, which dropped down here. Um, and this is by Numi, and it's called their Couture Flat Iron. Um, and it is 100% tourmaline infused ceramic plates. And yeah, like I said, I don't straighten my hair a lot just because for me, my hair... I don't like it as much when it's straight just because I feel like it looks a little dry and just doesn't look as pretty but I love the straight look and I wish that I could pull it off but um, yeah I just don't do it a ton because of that but when I do want to like go for straight hair I definitely like this uh, flat iron a lot and I feel like it um, helps with making my dry hair not look as like frizzy and dry. It definitely like makes it look a little sleeker and just nicer so yeah. Um, but yeah, so that was all of the products, tools, and um, frequently asked questions that I get about my hair. So, I don't know, I hope that I like covered everything and then I got to everything. I know I've had some questions about like tutorials and doing hair tutorials and stuff like that. And I just haven't really dived into that much because I am not amazing with hair. Like there's so many other people on YouTube that are so much better with hair than I am. Um, and I have showed you guys in a few, uh, like, Getting Ready With Me videos, I showed you, uh, like, you know, little clips. I haven't done the whole thing, but I've showed you, like, basically how I do it. Because really, it's so simple, it's so repetitive that I just feel like making a whole video on it would just be a waste of time for you and for me. I just feel like that would just be super boring to watch. Um, and that's why when I do it in Getting Ready With Me videos, I just do it, like, once or twice. And then I just kind of, you know, skip to the next part because I just think that's... I don't know, if I was watching that, I'd be like super bored and falling asleep after the 10th time. So really, it's it's that easy. Like with the curling wand, I get a lot of questions about that. I just curl it away from my head. Like that's really all I do. If I want to get like, you know, really technical with it and I want it to look super nice, I'll like twist the hair as I wrap it around. But really, that's it. It's always going this way. It's the exact same thing for every single piece of hair. Like it's, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's nothing too difficult and there's been a million, uh, videos on it already. So that's why I haven't done that. But, um, yeah, I think that's about it. So I hope you guys liked this video and if you want to, uh, leave me the questions that you have that I didn't answer or cover, definitely leave them below and I will get back to you. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That button's up there somewhere. And uh, I think that's about it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Scream and shout and let it all out. And scream and shout and let it.